been another big story tonight. Off the job for almost two years, Manesson's mayor comes back to work unannounced and almost immediately fires two top city employees. His action surprising some council members as well as the public. The mayor, along with two other council members, voted to fire the city administrator and solicitor. And tonight, the other members of the council want to know why. Channel 11's Michelle Newell live for us tonight. Michelle, for a small town, it sounds like politics are at play here. Oh yeah, major problem. There were very little people who supported the mayor during that meeting. Now many in the community want to know if he's going to continue showing up here at City Hall. It wasn't a warm welcome for Manesson Mayor Matt Sherrod. Oh. The mayor has missed every city council meeting for nearly two years. In his absence, two council members, the city administrator and the solicitor, essentially ran the city. That all changed Monday night. Mayor Sherrod showed up with his own agenda. I make a motion to terminate the services of the law firm Dodaro Madden Canvas and Joseph R. Delfonso effective immediately. Anthony Orzachowski, who acted as deputy mayor and director of finance in Shiraz's absence, quickly motion questioned the mayor's yes. motion to fire the solicitor. One, why? Two, justifications. Three, where the hell have you been? It's a question so many have. You answer my question. I will not. The mayor finally had this to say. We are moving in a new direction. No, why? After the solicitor was fired, Mayor Shara had the city administrator call the roll for her own termination. Judy did the job of three people for over a year. Orzachowski left the meeting with a change in roles, too. I'm currently now the director of parks. We called the mayor for answers. It eventually went to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. We went to his house. No answer. So even though we haven't heard back from the mayor, he did get, get back to our partners at the trip. He said he finally has the support to make the changes needed for the city in order to straighten things out. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News.